our list view is ready to accept the Dojo components to make this an accordion view. When working with organization of data on a page, Zend Framework uses concepts of panes and containers. Uh, every area that is designed to hold a bunch of information is the container, while individual piece of information is the pane. So in this example, each book is the pane, while the collection of all the books is going to be the container. The Zen Framework documentation lists the available containers and panes. The ones we're interested in today are the accordion container and accordion pane. So we are going to transform our current book list view in the container and the pane format. So I'm going to comment out the old list so it doesn't get in our way. Uh, underneath it I am going to start the container. Uh, there are two basic ways you can create a container with panes inside of it. Is first define each pane and then assign each pane to an overall container. Or uh, an easier way would be to use capturing technique. And capturing technique is similar to PHP's caching technique OB start and OB end. So to practically show how this works, I am going to begin capturing the content for an accordion container. Okay, so this is basically it. Uh, just as a side note, if you want to use the first method where you define each pane and then assign each pane to the container, you can put your container options right here and then end the statement. Uh, but this time we want to put in the container options uh, inside of the parameters for the capture start. The most important parameter that you need to have is the containers ID so that the panes know where they belong. So I'm going to call this container books and now we have parameters for the dojo front end. And the first parameter is the methods available in the dojo's accordion container itself. This you can you can look at all that you have available by going to the appropriate containers documentation page and look at the attributes section. So essentially the second parameter of any dojo related function is the attributes section in the dojo's manual. So in this case we want to specify the duration or how long the animation in the accordion takes time and the parameters have to be in an array format in case there is more than one. Right now this one accepts only duration And the third parameter in the container method is the attribute for the tag that will hold the container. Uh, I will show you exactly where that is. And uh, I'm just going to put the standard attributes. And it may be confusing right now, but I will show you exactly where this code is going to appear on our final view. Okay, so there we go with a capture start. And using our techniques from the PHP's native OB start and OB end, right here would be where 
we want to put all the output that is to be captured and put inside of the container. Uh, for now I am going to end the capture so I can show you what happened so far. And I'm adding the capture based on the ID. So this ID here is the same ID that I put in the start, just so that the Zen Framework knows what it is that I'm ending. So let's see what it is that we get from that. So this is the result of the code. Uh, here the Zen Framework did all the difficult stuff for us with the Doji library and the actual container is right here. You see the ID and you see the parameters. So hopefully this will now become clear. The first parameter is the ID so that not only does the Zen framework knows how to apply the paints to the container but it is also there for the HTML and JavaScript to assign the appropriate IDs to the tags. The second parameter is what's available for the dojo's method itself, which is found in attributes section of the manual for the dojo. And the third parameter is the attributes section for the tag that will actually hold the final information in the HTML code. So notice how that is identical to that. And the parameter for the Doge's accordion here is here.